Hi, I'm Charlie, and this is a video tutorial for the Computer and Networking Security course, specifically Lab 2. Lab 2 is dedicated to network documentation. I'm going to take you step by step through the lab, and then I'm going to show you a little bit more information on gathering some details with Wireshark. This is my first video tutorial, so please bear with me. Bye. Okay, here's, okay, here's the actual page for the course, and we're going to open up the lab documentation because I want to show you the the link that they provide here for the tutorial on the Cisco commands. This is uh, some good information on the commands you'll be using during this lab. And if you go to the page itself, it looks like this. Now let's go back and go to the online lab section, start our lab. Go down to the number two, which is network documentation. And then uh, we'll get to the Toolwire lab access page. Click on that, and it'll drop you eventually to this desktop here after some connection dialog. Now we need to open up Wireshark, which is down here. Click on this to launch Wireshark. And um, now under uh, Interface List, click on this Citrix uh, system link here, which is uh, the device we'll be capturing data from. And uh, the lab wants us to shrink this down, which I'm going to shrink it down now, but I'm going to bring it up uh, later to show you some live ping captures. So let's get this down. Now let's go to the Start menu, and then click Run, and uh, type CMD, and then hit OK. But CMD is already here, so I'm just going to hit OK. Um, now uh, we need to ping to generate some traffic. So let's uh, ping 172.30.0.8. And it's going to generate four packets here. Now let's uh, let me show you what it looks like. So there's the uh, the pings. Let me move this out of the way because I'll show you an actual live capture here. So let's type in uh, ping. Let's go to the next address, which is 172. Um, here it is, 172.30.0.200, and hit enter. And off to the right here, you'll see the ping. So here we go. There you go. And you see the live traffic off here to the right. Okay. Now we um, shrink this down. Let's get this out of the way. We need to launch Putty now to actually do the some Telnet secure shell. Wait, let's um, let's just shrink this down and get it out of the way. Now um, open up Putty, which is right here. And once Putty's open, we need to type in the IP address, which will be 172.16.8.5, and then select Telnet right here, which will be how we connect. And then hit open. That'll bring up our Telnet window. Now it's got the prompt for login. And um, there's a the commands we're going to execute have a lot of information, so I'm going to make this this bigger here. Let me stretch this out. Um, okay, now we need to log in with Cisco, and the password is again is Cisco, and we're on. Uh, now, according to the lab documentation, it wants us to execute a few commands. So um, we're going to start with uh, the command uh, show interface. So let's get that started here. Uh, show, whoops, show <laughs> interface. And this generates information about, um, about each particular interface plus uh, some statistical information as well. So let's scroll up here so you can see. Um, let's pick VLAN 100, for example, here. It's up, and its uh, hardware address is there, and its IP address is there. And as you scroll down, we'll, you know, you'll see a bunch of uh, all the other interfaces there. So now we need a show IP interface. And that will give us uh, configuration information. Let's see. Uh, here we go. That's where I executed it. And there's the VLAN again, VLAN 100. There's the IP address. And here's the subnet uh, broadcast address. And uh, again, that's for all your different interfaces. And then we need to execute a show VLAN. So let's do that here, show VLAN. Um, and here you'll see the, the names. And if you notice in your chart that you need to fill out for this week, you'll see uh, these different names. And they'll want to know the ports that are open. So here's the ports that are open. Um, and then you'll, uh, you'll just see, you'll recognize these different names here. Now we need to do a show IP ARP. And uh, there you go. And you'll see the address, the IP address, the hardware address, the interface name. Now it wants us to uh, to type quit here, but I'm not going to actually hit enter on quit. I want to uh, bring this back up here. So there's quit, but I'm going to just shrink this down because I'm going to use that as a reference later. 
So open up PuTTY again here, and now we need to um, go to 172.16.20.5. This time it's Secure Shell, which is already selected. Hit Open. And this time we just need to log in. Cisco and Cisco again. And then type quit. All we needed to do is generate the actual uh, oops, uh, traffic. So let's get uh, Wireshark open again. Bring that back up. I'm going to maximize it so we can actually see some more uh, data here. Stop the actual collection. And uh, now in order to help out a little bit here, I want to filter the traffic. So we're, we're pretty much done with the capture, but I want to to move on a little further here. So let's let's type in Telnet. You'll notice it'll turn green here because it recognizes what I'm uh, uh, looking for. I'll hit enter and it'll filter only Telnet packets. So now I'm just looking at Telnet and you'll see the source and destination. And if you know what you're looking for here, you'll see the um, hardware address for the source and um, right next to it is the destination here. Um, below it, right below it is the IP address as well and for each packet can order. Click here and you'll see the source destination IP addresses. So um, we, let's see if we can find the login name. So if you click clicking down and at the bottom you'll notice that the packet information is changing and we'll go down until we find hopefully find the word login. Going down there's Debian Linux and there's login. So let's scroll down here a little bit, make it easier. And let's see here, let's bring up one of these windows. Get this out of the way. Open up PuTTY, type in that original Telnet address again. And see, there's login. So there's the word login. That it sent login to the system we're on. So there it is. We, we see the, the word login. So let's scroll down and you'll see as you go down here the, the letter C. Remember the, our login was Cisco and there's C. The login echoes the each letter twice. So there's Cisco. C C I I S S C C O O and then nothing. And if we keep going down, we still see nothing, and then we'll eventually get to a password. There it is, password. So let's go here. Oops, that's not it. Oh, oh closed on me. I have to fire this back up again. So that's not what I want. Let me get out of here. Quit. There we go. Close this. Shrink this down. Let me open up PuTTY again. Just because I want to actually show you the word password being sent to us, because we'll see it in the terminal. So let's type in the IP here and to op Telnet and then hit open. And so there's the login. We type in Cisco. There's the word password. So the password got s the word password got sent to us to ask us for it. And we typed it in and there it is. The word password was sent to us. Now here we go. C I S C O. There's the word Cisco and then you'll see it stops after there. And then you should see the prompt information. There it is. Bam. We have the IP address and LAN switch, and there it is, IP address, LAN switch, so you see the text being sent back to us. And there you go, you just found the login and password on Telnet, which shows you that Telnet is not an acceptable connecting. So here I'm just going to clear it so you can see the different packets and scroll down and see the different types. You see Telnet quite a bit because that's what we're doing and then as you go down we'll start to see some some other packets for secure shell and some encrypted information. Here's the ARP stuff here for um, trying to find out who is who and you might remember that from from previous uh, from the previous week. And you'll see let's scroll, there we go, let's go down here, client secure shell, secure shell being SSH key exchange. See all this information here and it's interesting to look at if you ever take the time. And your encrypted requests and then just as we scroll down here we'll just click on some interesting packets to show you different sources and destinations and then the actual packet information. All 
right here. I'm just going to filter out Secure Shell, make it easier. There we go. Now, um, okay. now if you want to save it, you can save it off to uh, a file, and you can put plain text. So if you're trying to search through a little later, you can actually just enter a file name, hit save, and you'll get a text file that you can look through later in human readable format. And that's it. Well, I hope you found that tutorial informative. Please leave any comments below or send an email to charlie.tutorials at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.